The rollout of this airplane, now called the Su-75 Checkmate Light Tactical Aircraft, was made the centerpiece of the traditional day one visit to the show by Russian President Vladimir Putin. It's a new design that Moscow hopes will create a niche for its combat aircraft industry in the export market. Their intent is to upend sales from competitor aircraft built by other nations, the Swedish JAS-39EF Gripen and the Lockheed Martin F-35. F-35 Enter the fifth generation F-35, the most advanced node in a 21st century warfare network-centric architecture. The F-35 serves as the backbone of allied air power for 13 nations and counting. The F-35 is developed, produced, and supported by an international team of government allies and aerospace industry leaders. The F-35 program is managed by the Pentagon's F-35 Joint Program Office, the U.S. Air Force, the U.S. Marine Corps, and the U.S. Navy are all procuring and operating F-35s. There are eight international program partners, the U.S., United Kingdom, Italy, Netherlands, Australia, Norway, Denmark, and Canada. Six foreign military sales customers are also procuring and operating the F-35. Israel, Japan, South Korea, Poland, Belgium, and Singapore. The F-35 is more than a fighter jet. It's a powerful force multiplier with advanced sensors and communication suites operating close to the battlefield and from an elevated position significantly enhancing the capabilities of this networked airborne, maritime, space, surface, and ground-based platforms. This significantly enhances situational awareness and survivability for the pilot and the entire joint force, and equips the commanders with critical capabilities and information in seconds. This game-changing capability has been successfully proven during a series of flight tests and exercises, most recently as part of Project Hydra, Northern Edge, Orange Flag, and Flight Test 6. During the recent Flight Test 6 exercise, a Lockheed Martin Pac-3 missile successfully intercepted a surrogate cruise missile threat at White Sands Missile Range, WSMR, New Mexico using F-35 as an elevated sensor. This U.S. Army flight test marks a first. In one flight test, F-35 data contributing to the global track system used by the U.S. Army Integrated Air and Missile Defense Battle Command System, IBCS, to live fire a Pac-3. The F-35 strengthens national security, enhances global partnerships, and powers economic growth. As the most lethal, survivable, and connected fighter jet in the world, the F-35 gives pilots the critical advantage against any adversary, enabling them to execute their missions and come home safe. The F-35 brings a decisive advantage to the battle space, providing an asymmetric advantage across the multi-domain spectrum. The F-35's transformational capabilities enable pilots to operate in any environment against any threat. Simply put, it's the most advanced multi-role fighter in the world, delivering unmatched lethality, survivability, and connectivity. For years, the F-35 has played a major role in the country's economy with the creation of tens of thousands of high-paying, high-quality jobs to American workers as part of a global supply chain. The F-35's impact can be felt in the sky as well as on the production lines for more than 1,900 suppliers around the world. Sukhoi 57 In recent years, the only next-generation fighter produced in Russia has been the Sukhoi Su-57, a twin-engine model with the overall shape of a stealthy aircraft. The other fighters still produced in Russia, like the upgraded MiG-29, called MiG-35, and the Sukhoi Su-35 are old designs dating back to the 1980s. They have little appeal in the current day, when competing models are more technologically advanced and affordable. 
the SU-57 has been produced thus far in smaller numbers, only 78 total on order. With the Russian Aerospace Forces, VKS, as the only customer and has proven far more expensive than initially projected. It was also hamstrung when India, seen as the more promising export customer for the SU-57, declined to become an R&D or production partner. Russian fighter aircraft programs traditionally depend heavily on external customers to help launch and finance production. The project has moved beyond the paper design and mock-up stage, with the aircraft shown this week being an actual prototype demonstrator. Its design utilizes lessons learned from the Su-57 and is powered by one of the larger aircraft's two sixth generation. The Russian design team has employed a full complement of high-end digital resources, with the platform of the aircraft developed using supercomputer-based computational fluid dynamics and radar cross-section (RCS) configuration tools. Such a system echoes the F-35 ALIS system, which has been a major source of headache for operators of the Lockheed Martin-produced jet. Like other stealthy designs, the Su-75 carries missiles in an internal weapons bay. Information plaques displayed with the prototypes state it carries the same air-launched munitions employed by both the Su-35 and the Su-57. Rostec Corporation claimed that the airplane would cost just 25 to 30 million, a price tag substantially below that of other stealth fighters like the American F-35, which costs roughly 80 million per airframe. Some online commentators have seen the Russian plane's price tag as a lowball estimate, given both the difference in price between the American stealth fighter and the Su-75, as well as the vast amounts of R&D that went into the F-35's long and incredibly expensive development process. Still, that low price point could be a reflection of the Su-75's capabilities, which are thought to be significantly below that of other fifth-generation fighters, like the American F-22, arguably the stealthiest and most capable fifth-generation air superiority fighter in existence, or the F-35, which though perhaps less stealthy than the F-22, is nonetheless widely regarded as a very stealthy platform. The Su-75 certainly sports several characteristics seen in stealthy fighters, such as a prominent chine running along the airplane's nose, or air intakes into the wing roots, as well as a canted or V-shaped tail assembly common among fifth-generation airframes. The airplane also features an internal weapons bay that hides munitions away from enemy radar and would help preserve the airplane's low observable radar cross-section. However, one of the plane's potential design shortcomings, and consequently perhaps the reason for its astoundingly low price, is its single-engine design, which could hinder the plane's supposed capability to supercruise. In addition, the engine's exhaust nozzle and the airframe rear appear to be only moderately serrated, a decision that could ease manufacture and keep costs low, but leaves the airplane's rear aspect more detectable to enemy radar. This design choice is also shared in the Su-57, Russia's first fifth-generation fighter, whose stealthy capabilities are concentrated to dissipate radar from the frontal aspect, but not the rear. In addition, the new airplane appears to share a bulbous infrared search and track module near the canopy's lower edge. This is very similar to the Su-57 and is a decidedly unstealthy characteristic. Lastly, and quite interestingly, the Su-75 has a twin-wheel nose landing gear. This type of front landing gear design is commonly seen in airplanes capable of aircraft carrier landings, as the twin-wheel design is better able to withstand the increased stresses inherent to landing at sea. While this is not exclusively a carrier landing design, the Su-75's dual wheels could indicate a potential naval application. The type's primary role will initially be aerial combat, with adaptions for ground attack, anti-ship, 
and reconnaissance following. The aircraft will have five internal weapons bays and a weapons load of up to 7.5 tons. Maximum speed is given as Mach 1.8 and range as 1,620 nautical miles, 3,000 kilometers. UAC says the Su-75's aerodynamic shape will give it better stealth credentials than existing lightweight fighters. Mikhail Strelitz, the chief designer who heads the project at Sukhoi, says the Su-75 will be equipped with an active electronically scanned array radar capable of tracking 30 targets simultaneously and guiding missiles against six of them. Unusual for a Russian fighter, the Checkmate has a single vectored thrust engine, which appears to be a Saturn Isdelie 30 or some other Saturn AL-41F turbofan derivative. The Checkmate can be deployed in high mountain altitudes in a wide range of climactic conditions and from shorter runways thanks to a high thrust to weight ratio. With its open architecture design, it's supposed to need fewer ground crew and less special ground equipment. In the cockpit, an AI system acts as a virtual co-pilot that monitors the aircraft during flight preparations and informs the pilot when it's ready for takeoff. In combat situations, the AI can take over the flight operations while the pilot concentrates on engaging the threats. The Checkmate is scheduled to begin flight testing in 2023 with the first of 300 production airframes rolling out by 2027. An unmanned variant is reportedly in development. A two-seat version can be developed if requested, and a carrier-based version is also under consideration. Because of the economic problems that the Russian aerospace sector has been suffering under, if this is an export aircraft, the Checkmate project might not get the funding that it needs to complete development. We hope you liked the video, and we want to know which one is your favorite. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and the bell down below if you want to make sure you never miss out on important new information like this.